Hello everybody, welcome to a new series. It's the Maths Behind Minecraft. It's essentially where we take uh, certain questions to do with this game and work out the answer. In this, in this episode we'll be dealing with what is the most expensive block in the game. I've, well I've been doing research for well I spent a couple hours the other day doing it and um, well let's get into it so here is every block in the game I might have missed a couple but they're probably not important anyway so you have all your dirts your woods your concrete your stairs your slabs your glass panes shulker boxes beacons etc but of course not all of these are full blocks so here we go here are all the full blocks in the game you can see all the slabs stairs glass panes have been removed but uh we still got a lot of varied blocks and let's be real they're not really going to change there's not going to be much difference in value between say yellow wool and pink wool so here are all the non varied blocks and uh well you can see that a lot of them have disappeared we've only got one shulker box one coral one dead coral one ice um one sandstone etc but uh, it's a little bit difficult to see so if we just shrink it all up and well here are all the full non-varied blocks but uh well as minecraft and it's a game some of these don't exist in the real world which means you can't really give a price to them so boom here are all the real blocks I've kept nether quartz in there purely because we're treating it as quartz we're treating it as normal quartz which does exist however there are still certain things here that you can't really find a price for or accurately give a price for so for example fletching table while it could conceivably be a thing you wouldn't be able to find it you know you won't be able to buy one and the leaves are so you know unvalued that you wouldn't be able to find a price so here are all the blocks that can be valued that are real that aren't varied and are full blocks we have 26 left and uh there's some surprising results ahead I suppose that means we can do one of them wacky BuzzFeed articles like top 28 most expensive blocks in the game you won't believe number three but now we're here let's get into it starting with number 28 in number 28 we have gravel for a one meter cubed amount of gravel will cost you 78 pounds that's that's really not a lot as you'll as you're soon to find out in number 27 we have coal for a one meter cubed amount of coal it will cost you 166 pounds that's over double what the amount of gravel will cost you but again it that's still quite cheap it was at this point in the recording that i realized that i had the numbers incredibly wrong my maths clearly isn't adequate for for not only a maths major but a maths based series so after after coal we will actually have the real numbers in number 24 we have concrete mm, somewhat surprising but at the same time for a one meter cubed's worth of concrete it will cost you 508 pounds that's quite a considerable jump from coal but still quite cheap at number 23 we have bricks it will it would cost you 548 pounds to get a block of bricks which I mean that's you would expect concrete to be a little bit more than bricks but uh, it's just how the maths has worked out at number 22 we have sand quite a little bit of a jump uh, 840 pounds for a block of sand so fairly expensive considering sand is you know in abundance but 
that's that's how the maths has worked out. At number twenty one, clay. That's I feel like that's quite surprising. It will cost you again an another fairly big jump, one thousand two hundred and ninety nine pounds for a block of clay. That's that's quite a lot. At the twentieth position, we have sandstone. £1,376 for a block of sandstone, which, well, the desert has basically become a gold mine after we found out the price of sand and sandstone. No wonder the desert villagers don't charge as much. Speaking of sand and deserts, in 19th position is red sand. The Mesa clearly going to be a good source of money if Minecraft were real. £2,127 for a block of red sand. That's, that's a lot. But not as much as glass. In 18th position, and with almost, well, with over three times the price, £6,652 for one single block of glass. That's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of money for a single block of glass. That wouldn't even, that wouldn't even get you a big window. That's, that's tiny. From windows to flooring, in 17th position we have spruce planks. That will, a block of spruce plank will run you up £7,430. My buildings are suddenly becoming far too expensive. In 16th though, going back to the Mesa, we have terracotta. Just shy of £10,000, one block will cost you £9,994. That is so much money. The, the Mesa, the desert, is, they're, they're, they're just gold mines of the Minecraft world. Breaking into the top 15 is wool. One block of wool will cost you a staggering £19,710 for one metre cube of wool. That is a lot of money. But not as much as the 14th position, which is the oak plank which will cost you £21,640 for a block of oak plank. That is... I mean, our Minecraft houses are... We're, we're rich. Really surprisingly, at 13th, we have stone. And one block of stone costs an enormous £55,200 exactly. That is so much money. Imagine, get, get your beacon sorted, strip mine, you'd be sorted for the rest of your life. But in the 12th position we have quartz. Obviously quartz is a well-known gemstone, so obviously it's going to cost quite a fair bit. One block of quartz would run you up £72,616. The nether, while the quartz being the only real block from the nether, is going to sort you out for the rest of your life if you want to sell one in real life. Surprisingly low down in 11th position is the iron block. The iron block would only cost you £79,918. And while I say only, their, well, top 10 is, first of all, surprising, second of all, really expensive. Shockingly, in 10th position is granite. One block of granite will cost you £240,000. What? The, the masons bought 10 of these for one emerald. This is absurd. In 8th we have lapis lazuli or lazuli or however you pronounce it. I've never known in all my 8-9 years of playing but regardless. Again, another well-known gemstone. It's going to be expensive because of that. And one block will cost you £696,272. That... that's too much. Like, like, Aletha, you are sorted for money, because the amount of lapis you have, just sorted. In seventh, we have Dark Oak Planks. Not only did I think these actually didn't exist, but when I found out they existed, I didn't expect them to cost this much. One block will cost you three million two hundred and twenty five thousand pounds huh no wonder it's a no wonder the mansion is in the dark oak forest because you need so much money to own that mansion 
In sixth, we have Obsidian. Again, another well-known gemstone. We're getting into the gemstone territory now, so everything is going to start getting quite expensive. But uh, one block of Obsidian will cost you 9,945,075 pounds. That is... that's too much. Like, Obsidian takes too long to mine, even with Efficiency 5, so... But it's, it's worth the money. It's so worth the money. Breaking into the top five is the Emerald Block. Jumping up from Obsidian to a whopping 46,064,815 pounds. That is so... The villagers are rich as anything. My word. Hold on, I know what you're thinking. How is Diorite fourth? I don't really know either, but I googled how much Diorite costs and... You know, I have done all the math and I've checked it multiple times, but uh... One block of Diorite will cost you... 152,453,704 pounds. It costs... It costs basically four times the amount that emerald costs that is ridiculous but hold on number three is even more shocking I told you number three is andesite with a whopping cost for one block of 552,685,950 pounds I build with so much andesite on the Wales Knight server and anywhere because it's such a good blending block with cobblestone and smooth stone. It's the same, you know, grey. But uh, I should just just bring it into real life and sell it, and I'll be sorted for the rest of my life. Perhaps one of the most unsurprising ones in this list at number two is the diamond block. One block of diamond would cost you. 43,217,980,433 pounds. I mean, that's... that's ridiculous. But at number one, it's gold. Proving that the Mesa is the best way to make money if it were real life, but a uh, one block of gold would cost you a staggering... brace yourselves. 802,967,407,200 pounds. That's too much money for some gold. Gold tools are useless, gold's not used for anything, maybe except for golden apples if you're doing hardcore, but uh, no. We've concluded with maths that gold is the most expensive block in the game. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to leave a oh, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more maths behind Minecraft. But until then, we'll see you guys later.